Hey guys, it's the founder of Developers Academy and TheTrend.cl Welcome to episode number 41 of the Code Hangout Show In this episode, we're going to learn how to play system sound and vibrate your iPhone in your app Now I know that a lot of times in our apps, it just lacks the playfulness It just lacks the interaction with users And it's just like some static images with at most some animation but don't forget that the iPhone has a tremendous power in the sound system and also the vibration and I believe that as we move along in the next few generations of iPhone with the haptic feedbacks we can do even more with vibration so in this episode let's discuss one of the very simple way to do that first goes right down the link right down below you see a link or this way, I hope that someone will put on the video and you can download your star project on my blog and as always, when you enter your name and email there I'm going to send you another iOS free iOS course I just created for you so enjoy and I'm going to play the replay of our live code hangout episode number 41 I'll see you in a moment Alright, the moment when you open the star project there's really nothing much here, but let's go into the main storyboard. I put two of two buttons here for you, and you can see that the first button it will connect into an IB action. It's called Sound and Vibrate Tap. So this means we will learn how to play a system sound and also vibrate the whole device. Of course, it will not. It will only work on an iPhone, but if it is on an iPad. Uh, iPod touch or iPad then nothing will happen just the sound the next thing is vibrate only so this is vibrate only okay and obviously if you want to test the vibrate you have to run on iPhone but here I will show you on iPad uh, on the simulators so that we know that we have the sound okay so in order to have the sound here we'll have to import two of the built-in for the uh, two of the built-in framework or library it's called uh, AV foundation so in the view controller I'm going to import the AV foundation and we're going to import not important import audio toolbox like that with the lowercase b cool next in the sound and vibrate tab I'm going to call audio services which is a method in the audio toolbox so we have the audio to services dot play system sound and the system sound here it is system sound ID All right. so in order to specify which sound you are going to play if you look at the iPhone in the systems in the preferences there are a lot of sounds there for you so in order to know which sound is that we have to specify the link, that, like the number, the ID of the sound and there are a bunch of sounds out there in your uh, device in another episode, uh, I'm going to show you how to um, in the next episode, if you're watching me live here I'm going to use, uh, show you how just to play an audio normally Okay, if you want to play an audio normally, then you can just uh, play any sound in your project or even a URL with the URL But here if you look at the link in the star project just click onto this link and you will see a bunch of sounds here Okay with the ID Cool, so we have the sound ID. We have one one thousand which is the new email Okay, we have a bunch of those things. So how about I will choose the 1007 So I will paste the 1007 here and run this normally Maybe not on my iPhone, but on simulator because I want to show you There is some of the problem when you run on the simulator. Maybe you don't have that, but maybe you do So I want to show you how to fix that Okay, so here's the simulator If you're watching this, if you're watching this um, offline, like the replay of this, maybe you want to skip this part. 
Okay, Josh says that, is there a way to make the vibrate softer? Um, I really don't know about this, but um, let's see. I guess that in the uh, in the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, the that like tap haptic fit, feedback, maybe there's a way for, for that. I would just do a Google search on that. Maybe we can have that. But um, because I know that in the set settings, we can do some custom vibration, right? But I, I really not sure about that. Okay. All right. So now if I let's open up like this. So if we click to sound and vibrate like that, there's nothing happen. Okay, let's run it once again to just to make sure that nothing happens. Because some of the time, sometimes sound and vibrate, nothing happen. So sometimes here, you have to go into the system preferences. Okay, just the matter of the signing stuff in the Mac. Okay, system preferences in the sound, click into the sound. Okay, now a device for sound output right now because I'm connecting my screens here with an HDMI so I want to use the internal speaker just click into that and where we don't have the sound okay next I think one another problem that we usually have is click just do a uh, Google on stack overflow and I saw a lot of people says that you have to click to play user interface sound and then check it once again okay and then run the project okay if this time it doesn't work i will really have to play on my iphone no not working okay i see what is the problem maybe it is on my internal speaker okay we have sound next this guy Nothing happens. All right. So I am going to run this on an iPhone like that. And let's see what's going on. But you get the ideas. This is how you can just like play a system sound. This is just for the system sound. Not like, um, it's not kind of like the, why is that? This is not an, audio file if it is an audio file that you are hoping to create then you just watch the next corner here, okay here we go okay now I am running on an iPhone right now and if, if I click to this it has vibration like that okay I can put it on the maybe I should do something so you can see the vibration no, it's just too small. Okay. And I will turn on the ringer. See? All right. So this is that problem with the simulator. I guess that it is. When I put on the headphone, I can hear the uh, screens. But if I put in the uh, HDMI, then I cannot see that. But now, okay, see? We have another sound. How about changing this sound into something like 12, 10, 12? Okay, we have a bunch of sound here, so let's just change it around to see how, how it looks like. Here we go. Still the same sound. Let's move way down here. New flash or minute. Minute. 1327. Here we go. Let's test this. Okay, so you get the idea. Next, if you want your app to just vibrate only, then you can do something like audio services. Audio services. Also, play system sound. But the system sound ID here, I'm going to use K system sound ID vibrate. All right, then it will just vibrate. If you click into the system sound ID here, I believe it is an it is a type alias. And the reason why now, if you don't know about uh, type alias in Swift, it is just one to create a kind of like a different name for a type. In this case, it is a new 
uh, unsigned integer 32 bits okay so that's why you have to show us show that a bunch of numbers like that okay cool so that is the way that you can place the system sound and vibration in your iOS app. I hope that you enjoy that. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Code Hangout. As always, go back into your inbox because I just sent you another email and inside that email, you will find the link to my new iOS course that I just want to give you as a free gift just to say thanks for checking out Code Hangout with me. And as always, show up here at 6 p.m. tomorrow and we are going to meet live, interactive with each other. You can ask me any questions as you like. Just go into the inbox now, check out the new iOS course and I believe that you will love it so much. So I see you in next episode of Code Hangout. See ya.